So you want to know who I am? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm Ron Watt. I was uh, born and raised in Flint Flock, and uh, with uh, spent a couple of years in Winnipeg and Toronto over the years. But both my wife and I are from Flint Flock, born here. And ironically, uh, as we do this, uh, we're preparing to move to Alberta. You know, when when we uh, made the decision to move, obviously we've got to do some major downsizing. And uh, so we took a little inventory of the uh, paintings I had, and it was uh, just over 60. And we had uh, about 30 hanging in our house, and and uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 at Trevor's law office, and uh, and I had some out in what I call my art shed, where I uh, where I actually do my paintings. So uh, in St. Albert, we figured we've only got room for maybe 15 or 20 paintings, so. It meant we had to uh, get rid of as as close to forty paintings. So what we did is we uh, we picked out about twenty. I think it was nineteen or twenty that kind of represented of different times of my artwork and and different places. For example, when we're on the Vancouver Island in the winter, I do a, uh, a lot of uh, things like totem poles and. And uh, you know, uh, Western or Western Canada scenes along the ocean, that sort of thing. And uh, when I'm in Flin Flon, of course, I I like to do a lot of the what we call the water in the wild. And uh, in fact, that's one of the shows that I had with Randy Whitbread was the water in wild, where we used ten of Randy's photos and uh, ten of my paintings, which were largely based on other of Randy's photos. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed painting things in, in the in the northern area. Going to miss that. But um, at the end of the day, it was it's time to downsize. So, so we we put things together for the retrospective show, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for the support. It went really well, and we sold. Uh, I think we sold about fifteen paintings in total. I started painting in two thousand and seven. That was about five years after I retired. And that was on the west coast. And uh, one of the places I spent time at was an old schoolhouse. Uh, it was called Tosh, the old schoolhouse. And basically what it was is the old uh, schoolrooms were rented to individual artists. And they had a storage place and then certain times of the day where they, they could paint and leave their, their supplies and paint right on site and they, they paid for a rental to use the space and then they were able to display their artwork. And in addition, they had they took the old school auditorium and they made that into a display place and and they used to have concerts and different things. Every Sunday they'd have a concert, for, music concert, for example. And I often thought, uh, you know, it'd be great to see something like that in Flin Flon. So it was, I think it was the summer of 2010 I got approached by Karen Clark and and uh, uh, Sarah Trevor, and uh, they had uh, got some money from the Royal Bank for an emerging artist exhibition, and uh, they had uh, attended a, I guess a lunch here at, at what was called Johnny's, and it was pretty well <laughs> bare at the time; it had been abandoned shut down for some time. But they thought it might be a good place to have an emerging artist uh, show. So they approached myself and several others uh, and uh, we had a meeting in the, uh, the Greenstone place. I think there was about nine or ten people there and uh, I guess the, the reason or the purpose at that point was to simply get together and put something together for emergency ar artists. At the meeting, I brought up the discussion of uh, of my experience with Tosh and Qualicum Beach, and it created some interest. And uh, we just started talking about it, and uh, then we started talking about including all the the different visual disciplines. Uh, and we wanted to have a like a, a visual center in the north, and from that it developed into the Northern Visual Art Center, and uh, we called it Norva for short. That was kind of the start, and uh, then we, you know, so we, 
after the we we ran this emerging 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 artist for I don't know I think it was about a month or so I'm not exactly sure and then we approached Greg East and said uh, you know Greg uh, we've got a little extra money we we'd like to try and see if we can develop something here on a New England basis and he gave us a really good rate took a chance on us and uh, and as you say, we ended up, we got a grant from Hudson Bay Mining and Smelting, and we got a grant from the Flint Lawn Neighborhood Facility, and it wasn't too long before we had some financing from the, uh, from the uh, federal government, and uh, things developed from there. I'm kind of pleased how it went out, it's turned out. I, I, I felt one of our objectives was to develop the art scene in Flint Lawn, and uh, and and get particularly uh, children and some senior people involved, and I, I think that's happened to some extent. So uh, I'm going to miss Norva, but I'm I'm very pleased to see how it's developed over the years. What what like attracts you to people's photographs? Like what? Huh. Well, you know I, that's a good question. Uh, I, I think it's it's largely to do with lighting and the and the scenery. You know, uh, you can go and look at any one spot at any one time, and not really uh, think think much of it. But if it's taken in the right lighting conditions, and the shadows and so on, it can be really, you know, quite intriguing. I guess it's really the use of the light by the photographer, and and the you know the the patience they show to to get something at the right time. That that's a big part of it, and and, and it's also where you are. You know, when we're on the west coast and along the seashore and stuff, uh, or up in the mountains or wherever, again, and it, it's depending on the time of the day, you you come across some pretty interesting places. And um, so I'll I'll do um, I'll take a photograph myself at times, and then I'll uh, I'll I'll try and recreate it. Um, I'll take some liberties. I might take a tree out here and there, or add something, or you know just make minor adjustments but but for the most part that's the inspiration comes from where you are and and the beauty of the place that you're in and um, in this area here I, I, I think as I've tra I've traveled a lot and I think we live in one of the the most scenic places anywhere and look around the art gallery and here most of these paintings are, are local scenery you know and, the, and people are starting to to see what's available here. What have you gained from taking up painting oh. later in life? Well, something to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's certainly changed my life. I mean, uh, before I painted, I used to golf almost every day. Now I seldom golf. <laughs> you know, I think it's an evolution in life type of thing, and it's created a lot of other interests. It's it's uh, you know. I, uh, I love to travel. I love, you know, go to different places, and I, I think when you're an artist, and I think you guys will agree with me, you, you sometimes look at things differently than what you did before you got into, into, into being what you think <laughs> hopefully is an artist. But uh, I, I was told this earlier on, like when early and when I started, that that you'll start to look at things differently, and you know, I kind of boo out it, but. Now I can appreciate it. I can see that you're 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 constantly looking for seeing different things in the same thing. Sometimes if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, so it's involved over the years. You know, uh, at any one time. You know, I don't, I remember when I started and I'd look at something, you know, maybe into the first or second year, and I thought, oh, you know, I'm doing a pretty good job. And now I go back and look at it, and I think, oh my God, you know, wasn't that good. But at the time, yeah, it was the best I could do. And I think what I've learned is you can never stop learning. There's always something to learn. Yeah. And, and it's not just artwork, of course, it's in life. But, but I think art is a good, a good example of that. Well, I want to certainly uh, thank all the people at Norva. It's been a, a great experience. Uh, I'm going to miss this place. Uh, we are hoping to get back in the in the in the summer, and uh, certainly we'll drop by and and uh, perhaps I'll uh, either drop in or maybe even partake in one of the retreats that that you have. So 
it's it's been a great experience. I, I love what you guys are doing, and I hope you can keep it up and wish you all the best.